Gerskovich facing the same initial experience as other Americans detained in Russia. Our next guest brother, Paul Whelan, was arrested in 2018, accused of spying. He's been incarcerated in Russia for five years now. David Whelan is now here with us. Grateful to see you again. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. You know, we understand your brother, Paul, did speak with your parents over the weekend. Anything new? No, he still seems a little bit uh, unsettled by what's going on. I think he's coming to terms with it as you as you have to in order to survive over there. Uh, but uh, he is watchful and I think still hopeful that the U.S. government will try and bring him home. Based on what's happened with your brother, I know that you guys have gone through a series of different chapters over the past five years, but Gerskovich now facing some of a similar type of hearing that you and your family have, have seen uh, and experienced. What advice would you give to Gerskovich's family? I think not to get your hopes up too high. Uh, the experience of these uh, appeals and these detention hearings, which will start to happen on a, a regular basis every eight weeks, uh, are really not about the evidence or freedom. They're about whether to keep him in a prison or whether to allow him to go on bail. So they will keep him in prison almost for sure. And uh, I think really it, it's best to focus on the the end result, the uh, the trial rather than these small steps in the middle. It's all it's all theater. It's all theater. Uh, do you believe America is at the mercy of Russia when it comes to these hostage or unlawful detainment situations? I don't think they have to be. I think at this point they uh, are not in a position where they have successfully deterred the Kremlin from taking Americans. But I don't think that it has to be that way. Uh, Secretary Blinken recently said that they would increase pressure. Uh, so I hope that they will do so. And I hope that they will increase pressure enough not only to release Paul and release Evan, but also to uh, deter the Kremlin from taking Americans in the future. You say this uh, because you want to deter anything else like this happening again. I know that Gerskovich met with the ambassador uh, to Russia, Lynn Tracy, a U.S. ambassador to Russia. What specifically would you say America needs to, be, to do to be a little stronger or maybe a lot stronger when it comes to this type of thing? You know, it's hard to know. Uh, the special presidential envoy for hostage affairs was on radio last week, and uh, and he didn't know the answer to that question. And so I really don't know either. Uh, I think, uh, you know, they've tried sanctions. It may be that they need to try other things in order to increase pressure on the Russian government. But it is the Russian government will continue to act like crooks because that's what they are until they uh, have sufficient penalties that they will stop acting like crooks. I know that you've been critical of the Biden administration's handling of your brother's detainment. In some weird way, though, are you grateful for Gerskovich because it brings renewed attention to your brother's case? Grateful isn't a word I would use. No, I, I feel terrible for Mr. Gerskovich and for his family and what they're going through. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Uh, I, I would rather have to suffer, our family have to suffer doing this alone than to have someone else have to go through it, um, even if that helps Paul's case. Uh, I think that the, the Biden administration will do what it can to bring Paul home, and I hope that they will do it quickly. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.